Uh, can you mono your master bus so you can mix on mono on the iPad? This is a great question from The Mix Club. The short answer is no. The longer answer is yes. So uh, like most things in the world of GarageBand or the world of Apple iOS in general, you can do it, but you have to use a bit of a hack to do it. So I'm going to show you how to do this. I just, I have to refresh my memory on exactly where it's located because what we need to do is actually go out into our settings to get this done. If you're in GarageBand here and say we're mixing this and we're playing along and as you heard before, this is quite a stereo mix. So we'll just play it so you can hear it. <laughs> So we've got quite a few instruments there that are right over in the stereo spectrum that have been mixed far to the left and far to the right. Let's just find one of them here. This one here, this clarinet, which I, I really like the clarinet sound in GarageBand. If we play this, take a listen. Right over here on the left, yeah? So right over on the left with the clarinet. So if we wanted to bring this together so we can mix in mono, here's what we do. We go to our settings. We tap on this one here, settings and come in here. Now, settings has a cool function here where you can actually search. So we're gonna do that, and we're gonna search for mono, M-O-N-O, -O, and this is gonna be able to allow us to jump straight into our accessibility audio visual settings. We jump in there, we tap this button here, and uh, look, turning on mono audio will turn off spatial audio. So we give us some warning here. Yeah, we're not gonna get the spatial audio sounds anymore. So we're in mono now. And what we can now do is if we switch back to Garage Band and we play this same track, this should now sit it right in the middle of our mix, yeah? So what we can do now is come back here, we'll get the whole mix going on here, and you'll hear that it has it has summed these two channels down to mono. So we're gonna get the same in the left and the same in the right, which is the whole purpose of mono. Take a listen. <laughs> Pretty cool, yeah. So even if your software, so some software, I think Aurea Pro has it, maybe Cubasis has a mono setting. A lot of your software will have it at the software level. If you're using something like this or like Final Touch or some other audio app that doesn't support mono and you want to sum it down to mono to mix in mono just, and by the way, if you're not familiar with mono or why you'd mix in mono, it can actually help you because sometimes frequency clashes can be masked by one being on the left and one being on the right. As soon as you hit that mono button, it really exposes those. So if I then found some frequencies that were clashing, I could fix them while they're in mono, it means that it will sound good in mono. And why is mono important? Well, guess what? Guess what a lot of people listen to music on these days? Yeah, <laughs> this little thing, the little speaker in their iPhone. And even though these are stereo these days, there's also Bluetooth speakers that are mono. There's a lot of mono things that you can do. So there you go. Quick recap, go to your settings option, search for the word mono. Oh, I've jumped to Safari again. Search for the word mono, turn that on. And then when you're done, please... For the love of your deity of choice, come back in here and turn it back off.